Once again, got uh, waved oh, over on the side of the highway. This gentleman's. Hello. English is great, yeah, if you got her. Yeah. Whereabouts are you? Video okay? Ah, Bill Mother Bro. Hassan. Yeah, I'll stop by. What side of the road are you on? With, with camels. All right, I, sh I should probably be able to find you then. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll stop by and say hi. I think he hung up. Huh? I think it's good. Is this okay, video? Yeah, <laughs> Bonjour. Yeah, bonjour. Yeah. So yeah, he, he saw me on the side, or coming down the road. He really? called up a friend who, who's down the road and uh, would like me to stop by for some tea. Yeah, I've already gone 75 kilometers and it's two o'clock, so I was gonna try and set a record for distance today, just for the heck of it, but Hey, who knows, I'll probably still have a chance at it if I stop by for tea. He wants me to see some water irrigation system and show me a bunch of stuff and he wants me to stay the night and whatnot, but I'd rather move on and to be honest, I like the solitarity of a tent somewhere in the desert. Sounds pretty lovely, but uh, I'll let him host me for a bit. They seem, they seem to just love it. Hopefully he's got some dates too. Oh, what a nice, nice little encounter. So I, uh, I found Hassan. Yeah. Hassan. Bonjour. Bonjour. Is there a video? Yeah, I'm recording. Ouch. No like? <laughs> All right, I'll just do me. Um, so she would like to show me a uh, canal. Um, that's what uh, the one buddy guy on the phone wanted to show me. Yeah, his name's Hassan. He says to go to the third one, but she says she's Hassan. So. I don't know who's the better son, but 20 deer ham to go check out a canal. I'll, I'll see what's going on down here. Looks kind of freaky. One sec. All right, we are down in the canal. Uh, we got some really crappy, oh, there we go, flashlights. And she's giving me a tour. Very informative, it just happens to be in a language I don't understand. I'm not sure what to expect, but this is pretty cool. I haven't been in the cave for a while. Let's try to show you what's going on. Here's the wall. And I think I'm holding her up. She wants to get this over with here. Oh, another informative spot. Oh, that's for something. Very cool. That's it? That's it? Yeah. Yeah, let's check out more. How far can we go? A canal? Per... Oui, canal. Oh. Oui, canal. Canal. Is the canal always for water? It's yeah, pretty dry. It's fine. Oh, it's done. Oh, okay, I understand. And now you're going back? So this is the end. Let's see. Sure, I'll have some tea. Moroccan whiskey. Tea. See, see, we. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Ah, same thing as normal happens. Good, I saw the canal, that was news. Oh, am I speaking to someone? One sec. Hello. Well, that kind of ended unfortunately. It, it, it happens a lot out here, it's really annoying. We did the tour. She told me it was gonna be 20 dirhams, cool. We, you know, walk down those stairs and walk around in the dark. There's not much to it, sure. And she invites me back for tea to go in her shop and look at a few things. And I, I really liked the lady. For some reason, she reminded me of my mom. So I thought I'd buy something, some small token for my mom, but you know, mainly just to buy something from her. So, and then finally, when it time comes to just pay for these things after we've decided on a price for everything, she then, once she gets the money, you can just see it, they get the money and uh, 
they, they, they don't want to give you any change back. Um, so basically she held on to it, started to try and sell me more things, increased the price of what the tour was, and just tried to make it so that she can give me stuff so that it wouldn't cost her the uh, to have to give me the change. And then um, she tried to give me back like 50, which is less than half than what it was supposed to be. Hey man. Me? That's Hassan. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, and then she just she just won't give me the money, and it's just like I don't know. I'm buying these things for her more or less, and then there's no way I can feel good about it at the end of it. It's 10 euros for me. It's a lot of money. I, I go off three euros a day. I bought myself dinner twice because I got the local deal. Fuck! And I always end up feeling like an asshole. I'm gonna be calling it a day here. I think I've set a new record. 116 kilometers. I could probably ride for another half an hour, but then there's a town and uh, I see a pretty lovely campsite over there. There's actually a tree, which would be pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, I am in the middle of nowhere. This is pretty lovely. It should be a pretty beautiful place. Uh, I'm excited. So yeah, I'll uh, point that out to you. Just over there. Look at that, what a campsite. Check out Buck Abroad on Instagram where you can find some sweet pics from behind the scenes of this video along with many more great shots and stories from my travels. Dig a little deeper into Buck Abroad on YouTube and check out my adventure motorcycle series featuring a 40,000 km solo trip through some of the sketchiest countries on the globe. If you get a kick out of these videos, please make sure to like, send some positive vibes, share with a friend, and subscribe for more. Thanks!